Hello, my name is Trent Harris. I'm the Clinical Sales Specialist for Master Medical Equipment. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the Sapphire Pump uh, Drug Library. Uh, this will, we will go over how to load your medications, uh, create a clinical care area, and uh, compile everything into your drug library to publish that and load onto your pump. So you will be sent uh, a link and passcodes via your email, and you will just save that link to your computer. You will open up and you will be looking uh, at the screen you see here after you log in. All right, the first thing you'll do is you want to set up your medication list. And just for the sake of time here, uh, we're just going to set up uh, one medication. We'll set up amiodarone. Uh, we can place cordarone in there as the brand name as well. They, they will both show on the screen. The external ID is a requirement. It's not really specific to anything. Uh, but you do have to have a number in there. So for the sake of this exercise, we'll just place a one. Uh, and on the bottom, you do not have to add the concentration here, uh, but you can if you wish. So we'll go ahead and place 100 milligrams uh, and then 100 milliliter in our diluent down, down below. Just click Add. So you would just uh, go through all of your medications, just build them in this list initially. Uh, you can also uh, import uh, into this list from Excel as well as export them uh, if you need to have a copy at a later time. So we've got our medication list built and we will now go into setting up our clinical care areas. We must name the drug library. And as far as this screen here, uh, you will notice we have one published library. Uh, already in this system uh, and you will see that uh, we're working on a worksheet. So once you publish the library you can still make a copy uh, from this screen but you can only uh, modify a worksheet. You cannot modify a drug library once it's published. So you can just easily make a copy from this screen. So we'll start by uh, naming our clinical care areas. You can have up to 40 uh, it's for EMS purposes, uh, we see a lot of folks just naming an adult, uh, pediatric, maybe a neonatal, uh, not to get it too complicated. You must select a service line. And then once your clinical care area is named, just return to the previous screen and we will go up to the top where it says uh, CCA Setup. And you will click on the, the library that you wish to modify. So when you get into the CCA settings, this will be the most time-consuming time part of setting up your drug library. You can modify these pumps in uh, numerous different ways. And we'll pretty much just run down the tabs here. And what we'll be going over is just how we see a lot of folks in the EMS uh, world setting up their pumps. You can set them up any way you want to. Uh, this is just you know a lot of things that we see from uh, customer to customer. Uh, we'll just start at the top. The new patient for EMS, we leave that off. Um, the next one will be calculate concentration. We normally see that turned on just so that you can uh, calculate drugs on the fly outside of the drug library. Um, we'll go all the way down to the format. Most all these others we see are off in the EMS world. Format, uh, we'll do the US format. And the screensaver, most folks do like to see that on. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's just another feature that you, you know, while you're infusing you can see on the screen um, and it does save some battery life. The backlight uh, is usually turned on. And then your audio uh, on the top right. It, it does have a pretty high key volume, so some people turn that down to low, but that's just um, however you desire on that. And as well as the uh, alarm volume, you can turn it um, to maximum or minimum. And down at the bottom, your air and line detector. Um, it's usually set to off on the top. 
it is a default to 0 0.5 mLs uh, accumulated air, and then it will alarm uh, when it reaches uh, one milliliter of air accumulation. Prime volume is usually, usually set to around 20. Most folks in the EMS world like to uh, prime this via gravity, so that function is not used a whole lot in EMS. And then we will just go up to the alarm settings next. And on the alarm settings, the occlusion pressure, we usually see that around 12, um, especially for peds. And we will change from a bar, most folks usually um, our own PSI. And that's where we put the 12. Uh, the pump unattended, usually probably two minutes, maybe five minutes. Um, 10 minutes is quite a long time if you're in the back of a rig. And then you can set your infusion near in there, just however you desire. Next, you'll enter the mode options. You can't allow a bolus. Uh, the bolus can be configured inside uh, the medication specific. Uh, next, we'll go to KVO settings. Really nothing to program in this screen um, as far as EMS. Next, we will see hard limits. And again, the limits can be programmed in the drug specifically uh, as far as setting your limits. So don't really see anything in the EMS world um, set in this screen. Your delivery mode will be set, set to continuous. This is a multi-therapy pump, so there are um, many different options on this screen, but you will just select continuous and then turn all the other modes off. And in the dosing units, as you will see, there are many, many different types of units. You can leave all of these on or you can modify uh, just so it's not uh, so busy. Like on the million units, uh, we see that turned off most all the time. Unless you're giving a penicillin infusion, you're not really going to need million units. But this is you know, agency specific, so you can modify this any way you see fit. And we will just save that. And uh, next is security. These are your uh, passcodes, the way it comes from the factory. You can leave them like this, or you can go in and uh, do a custom passcode. That's your different uh, levels of security. On the passcode, uh, you will, uh, folks in EMS usually uh, set the high level. They will give that out uh, to the crews, which allows them to program outside of the drug library. It just gives them that authority inside the pump. The drugs are set up a clinical care area. Um, you can have up to 40 clinical care areas in this pump and each, each one containing a thousand drugs. We're now ready to set up our medications inside our clinical care area. So we will select uh, the clinical care area of, of adult that we made and we will click add and then there's a drop down box on the top and there's our amiodarone that we created earlier in our medication list so we will put in amiodarone here we can put in uh, the second name there of cordarone if you wish don't have to and then over on the right we will select our delivery mode of continuous and here's where you will start building your concentration. You can click no concentration uh, in this screen, uh, and that way it would allow you to just build a custom concentration each time. Or we can select, we'll put 150 milligrams, 150 milligrams into 100 mLs. And then you will select a dose rate, which is uh, milliliters an hour. You can select several different ones here. Here's where you set your um, upper hard limit, um, lower hard limit, and then your upper and lower soft limits on the pump. And these are um, customizable. You can set them however your medical director uh, wants them set. The soft limits are the recommendations, and the hard limits cannot be changed. They're in concrete. So you cannot um, infuse below or over a hard limit. So from the screen, you can also add multiple different concentrations of the same medication. 
Um, if you see, you know, different concentrations at a facility you might transport from, you would just go in and select that same medication in the drop down, and then you will just build it just like you did uh, the initial. Another neat thing about this pump, you can add uh, what we call a wild card. If you know that you're going to be having an amiodarone drip, uh, but you you know really don't know the concentration, um, or if you're you know buying different things from from your vendor and it's always coming differently, just select amiodarone at the top. Uh, and when it comes down to uh, the medication amount or the diluent amount. You have to have something in one of these. So we can just say, okay, we know we're going to have 150 milligrams, uh, but we don't have to select an amount, a volume. So you will now see we've got 150 milligram in blank mLs, uh, and that can be just modified on the fly. You can also add an infusion uh, with no concentration, just if you want to give a sodium chloride uh, maintenance infusion. You just select the sodium chloride that we have from our medication list and hit continuous. Uh, you'll see that when you hit the no concentration, when you check that box, it takes away uh, that center area. And then when you hit OK there, you will see that it has nothing built there. So that is totally customizable on the pump uh, from the field uh, if you want to uh, program that. Uh, your medics can program this in the field. So now we'll discuss how to publish your library. Once you've got everything loaded into it and you're ready to get it on your pump, uh, like we had discussed earlier, you can have only one published library. So we're actually going to delete the one that we had and we will add the one that we've been working on together for this exercise. So we will select that and edit, and if you will see in the upper left hand uh, corner of the screen, the word finalize is there. And it tells you that if you press OK, it will set this worksheet to a published uh, library. And we will hit OK, and you will now notice that uh, what we've been working on together is published. So that is actually what we will uh, place into the pump when we're ready to load. All right, so once you have your drug library complete and finalized, we're going to log out of our editor account and we will log into our loader account to load this onto the pump. Once you log in to the loader account, you will see this screen and we've got our pump plugged in to our COM cable. So once we click add the device, we will select our COM port. You do have to double click on that arrow uh, to select that port. And they will simply click, we will simply click download. And this will place your published library onto your pump. Remember, you can only have one published library. And this will download this to your pump. Once uh, this is complete, your pump will be ready to go. All right, so now uh, we should have everything into our pump. You should be good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call today. Thank you.